Hello Year 11. Today you're going to be making an electric motor, let's have a closer look. We've got a power pack set to 2 volts and set to DC. There are two red leads plugged into the power pack. Those red leads end in crocodile clips which are connected to two green wires. The green wires connect to the motor itself, the main part of which is that blue rectangle in the middle. A red wire is wrapped around and around the blue rectangle and the two ends of the red wire you can see come out on the same side. Those two ends of the red wire are held in place by that tiny little orange rubber band there. You can see that the circuit connects where the two ends of the green wires are just touching the two ends of the red wires. So there's the two ends of the green wires there and they are just touching the two ends of the red wire there and there. So this means when you turn the circuit on an electric current will flow through the green wires through the red wires and the motor will get a little kick, it will spin. Now you can see when it spins just 90 degrees the wires are no longer touching. So the red ends of the red wire are no longer touching the green wires, so the current will stop flowing. But the momentum of the motor will keep it spinning 180 degrees until the ends of the red wire are connected again to the two ends of the green wires. And once they're connected, the current will flow and the motor will get another kick in the same direction, that's very important, and it will continue uh, until it's spun 180 degrees and the wires are reconnected again. So when we switch the motor on, you can see that it just keeps spinning. Alright, now it is your turn to make an electric motor.